imagine tall mounds of dirt and behind them deep trenches. Small trees with a point driven into the ground to pierce anyone who was to attack. And the men of the second Vermont who had seen some of the bloodiest fighting of the Civil War were told they would lead the charge. These men began to do something never before seen in the Civil War. They would write their name on a piece of paper and help those who couldn't write. They took that piece of paper and pinned it on their chest. Others had pinned it on their sleeve. They knew that attacking such a fortified city meant certain death. Being wounded meant crying out for water, crying out for relief, crying out for loved ones. To be wounded on a Civil War battlefield almost always meant dying alone. Those Civil War men at Petersburg, with their name pinned to their sleeve, called out in death, remember me, remember my name. Contest chair, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests, your name is very important. We receive our name from those who first loved us. And on February 13th of this year, 2017, my wife gave birth to our second son. We named him Troy Benjamin Armstrong. And at the hospital, my wife gave me a gift, this watch. I now have two watches. <laughs> One for my first son, and now one for Troy Benjamin. How wonderful, because as Toastmasters, we keep timed. Everything we do is timed. I'll be the timer. I enjoy that role. For those of you who don't know me, I have four kids under the age of five. Y yeah, four kids under the age of five. And I know what you all are thinking. How long's your TV been broke? <laughs> you're, you're inappropriate. <laughs> when I was putting on my watch at the hospital, I looked in the box, and my wife had written me a note. She says, dads keep time for those they love. In such a simple way, she had reminded me to keep family a priority because in life, so many things demand our time. What things in life do you look back on so fondly? What was your greatest compliment? I was in my early 20s. It was Thanksgiving. My dad and I went to pick up some extra folding chairs. We were having a great time. Heading back to the home, my dad told me, Troy, I wish I had a friend like you when I was your age. Hearing from my dad that I had the characteristics of what makes a good friend was the greatest compliment I've ever received. My dad passed away on June 6, 2010. The person I am today is strongly because of my dad. I saw a local news story. They said, did you know that kids without a positive male role model are 32 times more likely to end up in jail? It was about a local 18-year-old kid who went to a party and at that party, another young man was making fun of him. He went home and he picked up a compound bow. He went back to the party and he shot his tormentor with the arrow, killing him. His mom, her heart torn in two, she could hardly even speak. The father couldn't be reached for comment. You have an 18-year-old boy who will now be sentenced to life 
in prison. I wear these watches not at the same time. <laughs> but I wear this watch to remind me that time is the most valuable thing we have. Would you agree? Time with my dad changed my life. Dads keep time for those they love, and they validate the person they have become. We keep time to share great experiences. We keep time with friends to have memories that will last a lifetime. We keep time to rescue others from a bad decision that will change their life. We keep time to leave a legacy. We keep time to change a person's life. Friends, Toastmasters, keep time. <laughs>